face Behold love's amazing grace All are welcome All are welcome Bring your hopes, bring your dreams Mercy flows and love redeems All are welcome All belong Welcome all who come and gather Celebrating in God's love We are not alone For we are God's own In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together once again, for sadly the last time as a class, let's call to mind our, the ways in which you and I have been less Christian than we might have been, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to and you, to my you, brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, I that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, and in my words, and what I have done, and, and what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, fault, through my, through my fault, fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, as Blessed Mary, you, ever Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Cristo ten piedad. Cristo ten piedad. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as together we listen to God's word. Lectura del libro eclesiástico. Voy a traer a la memoria las obras del Señor y a contar lo que he visto. Por la palabra de Dios ha sido hecho todo cuanto existe y el mundo entero está sometido a su voluntad. Como la luz del sol ilumina todas las cosas de la tierra, la gloria del Señor llena la creación. No les concedió a sus ángeles contar todas esas maravillas que el Señor Todopoderoso estableció firmemente como una prueba manifiesta de su gloria. El Señor penetra hasta el fondo de los abismos 
y de los corazones y conoce todos sus secretos porque él posee toda la ciencia y conoce el movimiento de los astros. Descubre lo pasado, anuncia lo futuro y revela los más recónditos misterios. Ningún pensamiento se le oculta, ninguna cosa se le escapa. Aquel que existe antes que el tiempo y para todo tiempo, dio esplendor y grandeza a las obras de su sabiduría. Nada se le puede añadir, nada se le puede quitar, y no necesita consejero. ¡Qué preciosas son todas las obras del Señor! Y eso que apenas una chispa es lo que vemos. En el universo todo vive y dura para siempre, y obedece al Señor en todo momento. Todas las cosas difieren entre sí, y sin embargo se complementan. Nada de lo que ha hecho el Señor es inútil. Cada una de ellas afirma la excelencia de la otra. ¿Quién se cansará de complementar la gloria del Señor? Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. Sincera es la palabra del Señor. Y todas sus acciones son leales. El ama la justicia y el derecho. La tierra está llena de sus bondades. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their hosts. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars he confines the deep. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. Que respete al Señor toda la tierra. Y tiemblen ante él sus moradores. Pues el Señor habló y fue hecho todo. Lo mandó con su voz y surgió el orbe. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. La palabra de Dios hizo los cielos. Be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and the sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timotheus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The book of Sirach, from which our reading from the Old Testament is taken today, is one of the last books of the Bible to be written. And it seems to be a compilation of Israelite wisdom about the meaning and the purpose of human existence. The God of Israel has created the world, and he's given the gift of life to humanity. But what is our place in God's creation? What constitutes a good life? Toward what goals or ends should human beings, should graduates of Bishop Connedy, Our Lady of Loretto High School, aspire? The wisdom of Sirach begs the answers to questions like these. In the rather majestic passage we read today, for example, Sirach speaks of the glory of God manifested in the beauty and marvels of his creation. It is a product of God's word, his creative and life-giving word. Creation becomes an expression of God's very being, reflecting his truth, his goodness, his beauty, and God has total insight into all that takes place within his creation. In the wisdom literature of the Bible, it is wisdom that is spoken of as creative. I hope and pray that you will use the multifaceted wisdom which we have gained at our school to be just that. Be creative. Sirach further writes in today's reading, As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. We all know that the sun fills the whole world with its light. And Sirach points out that that reflects in a small way the glory of God, which permeates the whole of creation. So also, May the light that you will bring to our world, darkened currently by the pandemic and by racism and political divisions, may the light that you bring to our world illumine all of us. At the same time, our all-knowing, all-creative God can penetrate the innermost recesses of the human heart. Sirach writes, he plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart. Their innermost being, he understands. Remember that. God understands us. You may not feel fully understood, 
by your parents, by your teachers, by your fellow students, and you will not be fully understood in your future roles, whatever they may be. But remember, God understands us. He understands you, for he created you. Sirach then writes, all of us differ one from another, yet none of us has God made in vain, for each in turn, as he or she comes, is good. Remember that as well. All of us differ, but none of us has God made in vain. Each of us has a purpose to fulfill. We were not created in vain. We were created by God and for God. And therefore, as St. Augustine taught, our hearts are restless until they rest in Him. I hope and pray that your hearts will remain restless until they rest in Him. Each of us is created in the image and likeness of God. Each of us is challenged to reflect that image in our world. In whatever capacity we find ourselves, that is our primary purpose, to reflect Christ's image and likeness in our world to bring his light into our world, to reflect that image and likeness in our world. Remember that, and make that your main priority in life. Then Sirach concludes by asking, can one ever see enough of their splendor? We hope and pray that as you leave our school, that we may say that of each of you. Can we ever see enough of their splendor, of the great things that you're going to accomplish as women of faith, learning, responsibility, and vision? We've striven to instill in you a lifelong commitment to Christian values, to learning, to responsible citizenship, and to community service. May the splendor of your living commitments, your living those commitments, serve as an example to whatever community and life situation in which you might find yourselves. And then I would like to call to mind also that very plaintive cry of Bartimaeus to Jesus in today's Gospel reading. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. That's also worth remembering. Notice that that plea stopped Jesus. Jesus stopped in order to pay attention to Bartimaeus. He took notice of him and asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus was delivered from physical blindness. But for all too many, the spiritual blindness that devastates and debilitates. This spiritual blindness narrows one's vision of life to one's immediate needs and self-centered concerns. This imposes a kind of myopia on the soul and our field of vision diminishes. And as this myopia takes hold of the soul, there is a steady descent then into the darkness, having habituated oneself to a narrow, self-centered vision of life. The soul can soon see nothing else but its own self-centered needs, and thus gropes endlessly for meaning and purpose. Jesus reveals on the cross that he's willing to extend his divine presence into any darkness 
in which you may find yourselves, seeing our misery, he offers us his light. Remember that. Remember that as you journey now out into the future. We would be remiss at this, your final Mass as a class, if we do not acknowledge the tremendous efforts expended by your families, enabling you to matriculate from Bishop Conaty, Our Lady of Loretto High School. We acknowledge as well the efforts of your teachers, the administration staff, and particularly Ms. Genoff, as much as you will be the last graduating class as she leaves our school as principal. Let's pause for just a moment, and I ask each of you, in her own way, to offer a silent prayer of thanksgiving for the gift of your education and for all those who have made it possible. I'd like to remind you also, I'm not sure you're aware of this, that the school is named after Bishop Conaty. Bishop Conaty is entombed in the crypt below the cathedral. Let's pray for him as well, that as we take his name upon our school, we might live those values which he so wondrously emulated for all of us. Let's take just one moment in silence for a prayer of thanksgiving for all of those who have made this day possible for you. Amen. One last time I address you with the words, Go Wildcats! Please stand now for the prayer of the faithful. Putting our trust in God, who loves us abundantly, we offer him our needs today. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. A estas peticiones responderemos, te rogamos, Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For the church around the world and for all its members, for Pope Francis, Archbishop Gomez, our local bishops and priests, that God may continue to bless them and give them knowledge and wisdom to guide our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Por nuestra nación, que el amor de Dios nos traiga paz a todos. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For Bishop Conady Loretto, for the faculty and staff who have given so much time to the class of 2021, that God will always enlighten them with knowledge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todas las familias de la clase 2021, que Dios les mantenga a salvo y los bendiga abundamente, en gratitud por todo lo que han hecho. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For the class of 2021, that God will always guide them and that they will continue to grow in their ability to live God's purpose and be blessed with God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Por todas las personas enfermas y que sufren en nuestro mundo, que Dios les dé fuerza para no perder la esperanza y la fe durante los tiempos de dificultad. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. 
for all those who have gone before us and returned to God in heaven, especially those close to the students of the class of 2021 and those who have lost their lives during this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All-powerful and all-knowing God, your glorious work surrounds us in our world. Hear our prayers today and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for the sinners. He became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. i 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send your, forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom we have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal mystery of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity, among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly, after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Augustine of Canterbury, and all your saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please follow the directions given by the ushers. Communion will be received in silence and only received in the hand. When you come forward to receive communion, please extend your hands forward and a minister will place a host in your hands. After you've received the host, please walk to where there's an X marked on the floor. And it is there that you can pull down your mask to consume the body of Christ. After you've put your mask back on, you may return to your seat. Even if you are not going to communion today, please follow the communion line so everybody can exit the pews and nobody has to cross in front of other persons. Les pedimos que por favor sigan las instrucciones de los sugieres. Cuando se acerca a recibir la comunión, la comunión se recibirá en silencio y solamente se recibirá en la mano. Por favor de extender las manos y el ministro pondrá la hostia en sus manos. Después de recibir la hostia, por favor de caminar a donde está marcado con X amarillo. Y ahí es donde puede bajar su mascarilla a consumir el cuerpo de Cristo. Después de ponerse mascarilla, puede regresar a su asiento. Si no va a recibir comunión hoy, favor de seguir la línea de comunión, así todos pueden salir de la banca y no hay que cruzar en frente a otras personas. Gracias. The body of Christ. the deep Though our senses fail Your grace is still prevail And we become the love that we receive Bread of life Bread of life Those who eat the 
this bread shall live and never die. Bread of life, bread of life, your true presence in this holy sacrifice. Venimos ante ti, buscamos de tu pan para vivir. Queremos renacer, transforma nuestro ser. Muriendo es que volvemos a nacer. Pan de que coma de este pan no morirá pan de vida pan de vida en el santo sacrificio siempre está In this covenant you've sealed With your very body and your blood Come claim your bride again With love that cannot end For what God joins, no one can define
Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, to be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated now. Good afternoon, everyone. At this time, graduates, you have roses at the end of your pews. And I invite you, graduates, to pass out those roses to your guests as a sign of thank you and appreciation to the people who have, you, who have brought you this far in your journey. And I invite you all to stand, and I invite the families and friends who are gathered with our graduate to go ahead and put your hand on the shoulders of our graduates. So if our families and guests can stand around our graduates in your pew, and you can go ahead and place your hands on the shoulders of your graduates. And at this time, I'm going to invite forward Ms. Lucero. She is going to lead you all in English and in Spanish in a blessing for our graduates. Please join me in blessing your graduate as I recite it in English and in Spanish. To my daughter on her graduation, may the Lord bless and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God give you the grace never to sell yourself short. Grace to risk something big for something good. Grace to remember that the world is now too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. So may God take your minds and think through them. May God take your lips and speak through them. May God take your hearts and set them on fire. A mi hija en el día de su graduación. Que Dios te cuide y te bendiga. Que el rostro de Dios se refleje en ti y te colme de gracia. Que Dios te dé la gracia para que nunca te menosprecies. La gracia para arriesgar algo grande por algo bueno. La gracia para recordar que el mundo es lleno de peligros, menos de la verdad y muy pequeño para todo, menos amor. Que Dios tome tu mente y piense a través de ella. Que Dios tome tus labios y hable a través de ellos. 
que Dios tome tu corazón y lo alumbre con fuerza y alegría. Amén. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. We ask that you please remain seated until the ushers get to your pew to give you instructions to exit. As you exit the cathedral today, we ask that you please maintain social distancing and please keep your mask on until you reach your vehicle. And on your way out, you will be given a validation for the parking, so be sure that you, have a, you receive one of those validations for the parking. And after you exit, there will be a brief photo, one photo taken for each uh, graduate and you could head to your vehicle. No group gathering will be allowed here in the cathedral today or in the plaza, so we ask that you please follow the directions by the ushers as you head to your vehicle. We thank you all for joining us on, at the special celebration, and let's give one big round of applause to the class of 2021.